Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hello Goddess and this is another pick of art video which is going to be all about what are this person's current thoughts and feelings when it comes to you. So think of a person and um, in this video I'm going to be talking about their current thoughts and feelings regarding you and does this, does this person fancy you um, or do they not like you or like uh, what do they think about you and what are their um, thoughts about you and does this person miss you that kind of stuff is going to be in this video right here we've got the three options again the very first option is fertility on the very left which is uh, which has the number three on it then we have balance in the middle which is option number two with the number 11 on it and lastly we've got transformation on the very right which has the number 13 on it so the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below as usual and um yeah without further ado let's hop into the first option fertility Okay, so if you've chosen the option number one, these are the cards that I have for you. I have the five of swords, the five of wands, six of pentacles, the nine of cups, the high priestess, the seven of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the six of swords, and lastly we've got the queen of pentacles and the eight of cups. So um, for the signs, I'm sensing somebody could be a Leo, an Aries, a Virgo, um, and then we also have Capricorn and gemini over here and then we also have pisces so that's all that i'm sensing for the signs now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to um the person whoever the person is that is on your mind do they like you do they fancy you do they miss you um or what do they think about you and what are their current thoughts and feelings when it comes to you so let's see what do we get from our guides in regards to this topic so um okay right off the bat i want to say that this person sees you as someone who is quite um bold as an individual i don't know how your personality and your aura is but it seems to me that this person is quite intimidated by you that's the best way i can explain um whoever this person is i feel that they see you as this person who is unique you're different from the rest of the people um at least the people that this person has met you're different from all of them they have never seen an energy which is quite like yours and um you could be a leo you could be a scorpio um regardless of that i feel like you're quite confident and your confidence really radiates and the fact that it does radiate um like so dramatically i do want to say that this person also does get gets like slightly intimidated by you i do want to say so they see you as someone who is quite strong quite um like you have a presence when you walk into a room or when you are um even speaking to someone your body language and the way you express things i feel like that's quite confident and you seem to be someone who is really secure in themselves um and you have that fearless sort of um touch to your personality i feel i also do want to say that this person sees you as someone who has this grace about them um the way you appear not just to this person but probably to a lot of other people it's really graceful and then i also do see that um um this person might be a bit introverted or something about this person makes me feel that they um they could be defensive but i feel like it's kind of more leaning towards being introverted and being like um yeah this person does not like attention or like any sort of spotlight on them this is not that kind of a person i feel um and um I'm also sensing that um, when you both started to um, talk or maybe when you met this person for the first time, I feel like in the beginning, initially, this person felt that there was some possibility or there was um, a way that you both could make it work or like 
Yeah, something would happen between you and them. Basically, this is what this person thought when they met you for the first time. Initially, however, now I feel like it's changed. This person does not have a lot of hope. And I feel like this person feels quite... Like, their mind is really fickle about this. Um, and the reason is because this person does not see any hope. And after knowing everything, like, all that they know, there is this... Um, hope that they had before which they don't have now and this person is not so um, optimistic about this connection as they used to be initially but they are attracted to you that I do see over here I would also say that this is somebody who is quite opposite to you I'm also sensing that um, for you guys to meet up I feel like it was more of like destiny um, you were not, it's not that you were not supposed to meet them, but it's kind of like the way you met up with this person. At least that's what this person thinks, because that's all that I'm channeling in this video. Um, their thoughts about everything when it comes to this connection and you. So I feel like this person feels that you guys were not supposed to meet or like there is no logical explanation to why it happened other than the fact that it was weighted and it was like destiny that's the reason why they met up with you and why you both are um in each other's lives and um yeah that's kind of what i'm getting i also feel that this person is um this person thinks of you as someone who's quite smart and intelligent and they also do see that you probably do have a lot of options or there are a lot of admirers that are um yeah that have their eye on you it's kind of like you have a lot of options and this person does see that they do didn't they do know about that and um However, the biggest um, highlight of your reading, or should I say something that is the most contradictory, is that you both are not on the same page. And when I say you both are not on the same page, what I mean is your person is living in a different vibe and you are in a different vibe altogether. You might be in contact with this person, but I feel that um, when it comes to... Um, how you are feeling about your life right now and where you are at in your life right now i feel like it's totally different from that of your person your person is kind of um or let me just put it this way even if you both are on the same page and not on the same page but i would say if you both are doing the similar kind of things your approach towards life is completely different from that of theirs and the reason why they're bringing it up in this reading uh, about this connection is because um they want you to understand the way this person thinks and the psyche of this person and um i feel like you are enjoying this time you're just being quite carefree and like you are excited for what's to come and yeah you're in this zone where you're being optimistic about life even if you are not aware of what's to come and your person on the other hand is like on the flip side of this they are not feeling good about this they are in a grim state they are not feeling optimistic they are in fact far from that and this person is also feeling quite um, like lonely and stuff. And they're just kind of feeling lost, to be honest. So that's what I'm sensing. This could even be like a bigger message. Maybe this is the way this person's personality is. Maybe this is not what they're dealing with, but they are innately like this. And you could be the way I just described you. So I feel like there's a big difference between how you both are. When it comes to perceiving life, um, it's almost like if I put you and this person in the same situation, you would bring something good out of that situation and this person would not be able to. Um, that's kind of what I got. One of you is quite intuitive though. Um, let me say that. And this person feels, this person or you, whoever this is, that... Oh, okay. 
Okay, yeah, one of you is quite intuitive. It, I feel like it could be you. Or it could be this person. I, I'm not too sure. I cannot really pinpoint on this one. But there is someone that they're showing me who's quite intuitive. And this person is... Whoever this person is that's intuitive, I feel like you're drawn to cats. Whoever this person is. Cats or simply animals. I don't know. But I heard cats at first. So I would like to um, emphasize it. There's something about the color yellow or golden. Something about short hair. Um, I also do see that um, this person is a mix of a fire sign and a water sign. And whoever this person is, they're really smart. Like they may not look so smart by their appearance. They may not look so sharp. I feel like this person is quite smart. They are quite witty. And um, this person knows how to handle situations and people. I don't know who this person is, honestly. I feel like it could be you. Because the way this person feels about you, the way they're intimidated by you, um, it kind of does make sense. Okay, so... The person you're inquiring about, they feel hurt because of something. Um, number three, again, is popping up. It's significant. And I also do see number um, number five as well. Yes. There are a lot of re repeating numbers in your pile. But I would like to say that this person feels hurt regarding something. And... They feel like they're wasting their time. And they know that they're doing it. I don't know, I'm hearing it. I literally heard somebody saying to themselves, I know I'm wasting my time. Or somebody's saying to this person that you're wasting your time. Something like that. I'm hearing it quite clearly. But this person is not able to let go. This person is not able to move on. This person is not able to... Um, distract themselves yeah i'm also sensing this person might be getting dreams of you or if you're getting this person if you see this person in a dream do not ignore that do not i feel like this person is having dreams of you constantly um or at least they do see you in their dreams quite often because this person is really heavily focused upon you right now I do feel that this person could be a Capricorn or a Gemini as well. Um, yeah, it's almost like when this person gets drawn to someone, it's really strong. And it's strong in a manner where they get really desperate. Um, yes, I do see that. This is, yeah, I feel like you will get a response from this person somehow or you will know about this some way or the other. There's just no way this is going to be hidden. I feel like it's not hidden even right now. I feel like you would be knowing about whatever this is or whoever this person is. Even right now, you'd be aware of this. Number six is quite significant for you guys. Okay, there's so many numbers. It's freaking me out. Um, and... um. This person is really attracted to you physically. They, that's being really highlighted over here. This person daydreams about you. This person imagines you like in ways that they should not. I don't know why I'm hearing that. And this person also is um, like thinking about you in sexual ways. And like, I don't even want to go into this, but... I mean, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it, but this person feels that it's kind of wrong. Um, yeah, that's that's what I'm sensing over here. I feel like this should be mutual, if I be honest. But I don't know why is it not working out. This seems to be like something which you also think that this person is like... Um, nice and like you also kind of like them or maybe fancy them or whatever but if this is not working out i really have no clue why is that so um this person may also be going through something quite 
um, challenging in their life right now. This could be related to health. This could also be some sort of an addiction this person is going through. Um, this could be... Now, this has to be either related to health or um, an addiction. Or lastly, I'm also sensing maybe they have toxic people around them and um, that just needs to go. So that's kind of the vibe over here. And I feel like when when that's going to stay, like if those any of those three things are going to stay, I feel like this, uh, whatever you have got going with this person, it can never work out. That's the vibe. So I'm going to finish out this part right here. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again. Um, hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you're chosen the option number second, these are the cards I have for you. I have the Five of Swords, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Fool, Knight of Swords, Death, the Magician. And lastly, we've got the King, uh, the Knight of Pentacles for you guys. So for the signs, I'm sensing somebody could be an Aquarius, an Aries. Then we also have Libra. Um, I'm also sensing Leo for you guys and yeah that's all that I'm getting for the signs now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to the person that is on your mind do they like you do they fancy you do they um, miss you and also then I'm going to be narrowing down on the topic that like what does this person think and feel about you what are their current thoughts and feelings when it comes to you and when it comes to this connection so let's see what do we have from our guides so i feel like the person that you are inquiring about may seem like someone who would be brutally honest or um somebody who's transparent or like straight up honest like you know they don't um play games and stuff like that i feel like that's the kind of picture this person um does project and i'm not saying that that's false but i would say that it's not necessary that this person would reveal everything that they think and feel about you um in any given moment like i don't feel that like you know the truth about how this person thinks and feels about you it might seem that this person is like being really confident whenever they speak and whenever they do express things. Um, this could be an air sign, somebody quite smart with words, with the way they um, like treat people and like in like, you know, the way they have conversations and stuff. I feel like this person is quite witty and they know the right thing to say and they're so good at convincing people. This person could even be a brilliant manipulator, but they could be an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius regardless of all of those things that I just said I feel that this person does come off as someone who would be brutally honest which they might be but do not expect this person to be like they would say everything that is on their mind or they would not keep anything hidden no that's not the truth and I feel like they like my guides are um telling me that for some reason and i feel like the reason is that you might be over assuming or maybe kind of like saying to yourself okay i'm overthinking a little bit and maybe it's not as crazy and but i feel like you should not be saying that maybe you don't know the whole truth maybe this person is not speaking the truth or should i say they are speaking the truth but they are also not like they're kind of hiding it a little bit and then yeah they're doing it that way so that's one thing that i am sensing over here this person is really good at keeping a straight face really good at lying really good at um and don't get me wrong this person has like a charming aura around them and i can see this person having lots and lots of options and um yeah a lot of people flocking around this person i can see that happening because this person has that effect on people there's something about their energy it's so alluring and it's so um it's so different this person has this vibe about them 
yeah and i also do feel yeah this person could have like a heavy li libra placement somewhere prominently um yeah present in their birth chart so that's one thing i'm sensing over here somebody could be obsessed with the color red green or blue that's what i'm sensing um yeah this person i feel is they're the kind of a person you know um i don't know if it's about their appearance i don't think so this is about this person's personality whenever anyone meets this person like regardless of whoever it is i feel like this person has this um like trait i would say or there is something about this person the way they um talk to other people is that whenever somebody meets them or gets to know them they kind of do feel intimidated by this person the way they speak the way they communicate there is this feeling that um this person is really good at um like they do not handle bs and that's how this person comes off as well so that's kind of the vibe for the start i also don't see this person smiling a lot so that's another thing but maybe this person just is not so good at expressing and their emotions are like kind of suppressed most of the times that could be the case as well over here so definitely do keep that in mind now i'm getting a random message if there is somebody that you're inquiring about and you have had a history with this person meaning that if this person is in is your ex or um you've had a sort of fling with this person maybe like i don't know you've had any sort of like um connection with this person in a romantic sense i would say that this person is thinking about you yes they are this person is even daydreaming about you and this person is um kind of fixated upon you these days i don't know what's going on but this person is fixated upon you so i just wanted to let you know yes now moving back to going back to the person that we were just talking about the air sign i feel like this person is quite calm in nature they don't like drama they don't like conflict they don't like um anything flashy maybe this person that's why i was um even correcting myself when i said that this person is intimidating but it's not their appearance which makes them intimidating it is their personality it is their aura it is when they get like when anyone gets to know this person there is something about them and the way they like i almost want to say entangle the other person in their words and like um it sounds wrong but it's not this person is just really witty and charming that's the best way i can explain so obviously this person is going to be different um than other people and they do not communicate like an average person does there there's something really different about them so um i can see you must be quite charmed by this person and um again take it like a general reading it's not going to be it feels specific though i'm not going to lie so i don't feel that it's going to resonate with every single one of you who's watching this if it is resonating with you then you're just lucky and um i would say take only what resonates what does not just leave it behind and i feel that um if you feel that you have i don't know why i'm hearing that somebody feels that they've made a mistake if you feel that you've made a mistake and you are regretting something let me just tell you that your person whoever this is um that you're overthinking about they are missing you um more than them being mad at you or like being enraged i feel like this person is missing you i'm also getting something about rain or like rainy season maybe you met this person recently and it was raining or you had a conversation with this person and it was raining something about that or maybe the very first time you met up with this person it was raining so definitely there is this um yeah emphasis on the rain so um that's kind of over here 
and then i also do see yes there is some sort of disappointment i see in your connection i don't know who this person is that is disappointed yeah i do see that um oh okay this could be a breakup honestly maybe you're inquiring about your ex if that is the case yes your person is thinking about you yes they are i mean it's not all positive there are some things that they are like i mean regardless of the positives and the negatives this person is still drawn to you they still want you not want you back maybe but want you if that makes any sense um i don't know why my guides are correcting me mm-hmm. but that's one thing i also do see somebody's um somebody has decided to move on um i also do see that yeah there's something about that okay and I'm also sensing for you guys that in this connection, especially with this person, um, whoever you're inquiring about, again, I feel like I'm I'm getting messages regarding a lot of different people. I don't feel that it is like only one person. So at some time, I was talking about that air sign, and then it kind of drifted off to somebody's ex, and then now I don't know who this is, but my guides are really giving me random messages, especially for this pile. So there is somebody who is present in your life and they're saying that there will come a time when the truth will be revealed and the person who will reveal the truth about how they feel towards you would be like the actual person that you're inquiring about. So they are going to reveal the truth or maybe like, I don't know, confess I don't know what's going on. I'm literally tripping on every single word that I'm speaking. But again, I feel either you or your person, one of you, does have um, fixed signs that were prominently placed. Fixed signs would be um, Leo. I don't know why I was hearing Aries. Um, So somebody could be an Aries. But Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Somebody could be that. Um... They're saying just give it some time. Just give it some time. Now, if this is for you, you would know. Maybe, and you know, it does not mean that you have to give it like months and months and months and like years and years. No, you have to give it a little bit of time. And it's all going to kind of evolve in a certain way, like your connection and your bond with this person that they themselves are going to reveal the truth or speak the truth in a way so you don't really have to do anything to be honest so that's kind of cool i see it over here this person you could have met online i also do see this person if you're not met this person online i feel like this person could be in your um i i should not say friend circle it's not really friend circle but it's like they're probably a friend of a friend so you've probably met someone through a friend or this could be online or this could be now whatever the case may be there is a lot of physical distance between you and this person wherever you live is quite far away from wherever they live at even if it is the same city or the town whatever there is a lot of distance a lot and if i have to um like restated i would say that this person could probably be belonging to a different city even a different country so the distance is a big part over here and it's literally thundering right now as i'm recording it um i don't even know if you can hear that but i would say that there is literally something to do with rain something to do with i don't know thunderstorm or anything of those like those things I feel, okay, I'm hearing too hot to handle, there's somebody who's really attractive, and they're quite a tusk when it comes to handling them, when it comes to, um, yeah, I don't know, why am I kind of getting that, I mean, I don't really see it that way, but, 
I also do want to say that this person might seem like they are really living in their own world and like they don't really give a crap about anything, but they're really concerned about you. I see true concern, true care um, on this person's part when it comes to you, regarding you especially. Um, I don't know about other people, like what, like how, what kind of a person are, like, are they in general, but I would say when it comes to you, definitely they do have a soft spot for you maybe you're going through something which is kind of hard to deal with or they don't they really hate to see you sad i want to say they really hate to see you troubled or like anxious about something yeah okay this person whoever they are i feel like this person is quite like attractive they have a lot of options the one that i just talked about um there's a lot of synchronicity and signs you might get a lot of messages through songs um a lot of repeating numbers when this person texts texts you or like the day you met this person and stuff like that i feel like those are the biggest indicators in this connection and lastly i'm getting that somebody could be a leo or a scorpio which i've been getting for this pile literally the whole time so definitely somebody's going to be one of these two and yes i'm getting this again and again somebody has a lot of admirers a lot maybe this person has a job where they have to be in the public's eye or maybe you do but somebody is quite popular um yeah so that's all that I'm getting for you guys. I'm going to finish off this pile right here. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you've chosen the option number third, these are the cards I have for you. I have the Six of Swords, the King of Cups, the King of Spares, Four of Spares, Knight of Coins, Seven of Cups, King of Coins. And lastly, we've got Justice, Six of Spares, and Seven of Swords for you guys. So, um, for the signs, I'm sensing somebody could be a Leo. Somebody could also be a fixed sign. That would be Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and scorpio somebody could also be a gemini um and somebody's sun sign could be in an air sign that would be gemini libra aquarius so those are the signs that i am sensing now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to um whoever the person that is on your mind what are their current thoughts and feelings towards you and does this person like you? Does this person miss you? Or, um, yeah, basically, what do they think about you? And what is their opinion of you? So, um, let's see what do we have for the messages. Okay, I feel like, first of all, the very first thing that is striking over here is that there was no equal give and take in this connection. Whatever this was, I feel there wasn't equal reciprocity in the connection and that's one of the biggest reasons why it did not work out. And I feel that, or maybe it's going on right now, I don't know. Um, it's going to be different for every single one of you, but whatever this um, connection is, I feel like there was this one person who was giving in more, more effort, more attention, more time. Um, they were just simply more devoted to the connection and to the other person compared to, um, yeah, compared to the other one. So there wasn't equal reciprocity in the connection and that's one of the biggest reasons why it became um, quite hard to deal with. To be honest, I'm getting this image of a person who is quite giving and generous. I feel like this person has so much love inside of them and they're like, they're so optimistic and they see the good in people at least that's what this person wants to see 
and that's how they want their world to be and this person whenever they see somebody who is needy or who is in um who needs some sort of a help or something i feel like this person always attends to that and that's one of the biggest reasons why this person might be getting worked up whoever this person is um could be a libra could be a leo um definitely so i feel the person that you are inquiring about they see you as someone who is quite simple and straightforward with their words and their actions it's almost like this person sees you as someone who is just as simple and just as giving with their words and with their affection as they are with their efforts and their actions so you are the kind of a person who is um who does what they say and you are true to your words and you do put in effort and you do put in um the action that is required in a connection so that is something that i do see over here and um yeah that's how this person sees you they also see you as somebody who is quite strong um strong in the sense that you will work hard for you will work hard and you will work um even go above and beyond to fix whatever it is that needs to be fixed in a connection if that person means a lot to you and i feel like you also do see that person um this person also sees you as someone who is quite um protective of the people around you so they see you as that individual and whoever your person is i feel like they have a lot on their mind that they would want to say to you or express to you and i feel like um uh, whatever this is that they want to um say and express it's like uh, um i would almost want to say that even if this person is um you know when you really really want to talk to someone like you just feel it in your gut that if you do not something's going to go wrong or when you really really need someone or really want to express something to someone that's the kind of urgency that's the kind of um feelings that i am getting from this person that this person is going to be urged this person is going to be pushed from within to reach out to you um or to say something to you i don't know if this person will act upon it though they will act upon it but it would take them some time to make that decision but when they will make that decision they will do everything quite quickly i'm hearing and um yeah this person is a fixed sign or they may have fixed signs somewhere prominently placed but i'm hearing they are acting quite fickle which is not what a fixed sign does so i don't know what's the uh, what's the issue over here i feel like this person is feeling um like quite doubtful about their actions or their words or whatever they would do want to say i feel like whatever this person wants to say they're kind of going going over and over it again and again like if they are saying the right thing this person is really analyzing it and they're scared but oh, they do want to they do not want to appear, appear scared in front of you um that's one of the biggest biggest things that's being highlighted over here um but I feel like this person is scared somewhere deep down and that's one of the biggest things that is stopping this person from coming towards you and then we also have I'm hearing ego ego could be a spirit animal um or maybe some sort of a bird maybe a crow I do see that and there is okay this is what this person is feeling exactly let me just describe it this person cannot feel at ease there is something which is making this person so restless it's making this person so um kind of annoyed with themselves and um they're just not relaxed this person is not at peace um and that is because of the fact that this person is 
putting something off like they are they need to do something they know that and they need to take action they need to say something specifically if i be honest um the action is simply saying something to someone or expressing something in words but this person is not doing that they're kind of ignoring it they are probably in denial but this feeling is getting louder and louder until this person literally loses it and then they're going to come in so um that's kind of what i am getting over here this person okay whoever the person is that you're inquiring about if they did something wrong to you or if they um um like anything it could be like if they said something wrong or if they mistreated you or if they misunderstood you or if this person simply did something to you and they did not even apologize for it the main highlight over here is the apology that the universe or my guides are highlighting um they're saying that you probably never got closure you never got apology or you never got to hear anything from their end like what they thought and stuff so if it's that's the case this person is realizing with every day passing by what they did and what like what the consequences were of their actions and of their words and this person is in a heavy debt right now at least that's what this person feels that's what their feeling is all about and this person is not really able to relax even for a minute yeah this person wants you to be happier i'm even hearing that song happier i believe it's by marshmallow so listen to that one but this person is realizing everything and even if they do want to do it or they do not want to do it like it's not even about their will it's not even about their um choice it's like they don't even have a choice the universe the the guides they are literally making this person realize what they did and they're making this person um have all sorts of epiphanies have all sorts of realizations and just kind of get the gist of everything that happened so that's kind of the vibe over here i see um yeah you know when something happens and then you don't really understand in the beginning or when that situation is going on like what what was even happening and why things happened the way they did and then you realize later on i feel like that's what's happening with this person and this person is realizing that they um messed it up big time so that's kind of what is being shown over here and i see this person going over and over and over trying to fix something but the more they try to fix they get back to the square they get back to square one and it's almost like they do it all over again just to find out that nothing is really being fixed um they keep thinking over and over and over they're kind of like um yeah it's not like a it's not good for this person and i also do have um yeah this person is trying to decide upon something but they are feeling so indecisive about the situation um you know it's almost like this person goes to the very end of a decision only to find out that they are not ready yet or at least that's what this person tells themselves like i'm not ready i'm not ready kind of like that so this person goes all the way you know they decide everything and um they think and think and think and overthink even and then they get to a point where they need to decide upon something but they eventually do not they like there is something that stops this person from taking the very step the first step and that is was what causes this person to be in the state of indecisiveness and do not let this person pass this um you know i would even call it comfort zone if i be honest with you this could even be um deemed as a comfort zone state where they are not even um this person is just not willing to take risk they're not and 
as I was talking about their fear, they do have some sort of a fear, maybe how you're going to react and what's going to happen if they do take some action, what the consequences are going to be. But the consequences of what's happening right now are literally eating this person alive or like their mental peace is being um, demolished little by little every single day and that's just really disheartening to um witness and that's why this person is being forced to you know what let me just pause a little bit because i feel like there's so much influx of these messages so i do want to point out that if this reading is not going to be for you it may not make a lot of sense because i feel like it's quite specific and also at the same time do keep into consideration that not everything is going to make sense so only take what makes sense and leave everything else behind so um, with that out of the way let me just continue back again so this person i feel um Yes, they are thinking about you on a loop and they have been. Um, it's never going to leave this person's head. It's never going to um, leave them alone, I'm hearing. You know that one thing or that one person that is always there on our mind? I mean, it does not have to be necessary. I mean, um, it always does happen with those people who feel or who do experience some sort of guilt, some sort of some sort of a sorrow. Um, I feel like it usually is associated with guilt. So if we do experience guilt in some scenario, I feel like that's when it does um, like it boils down to um, this person has a major disappointment, first of all, uh, when it comes to you. It's almost like even if this person gets, um, like this person has um, many things to be appreciative of. Is they have stability in their life, they feel secure, and they might even be having moments in their life where they do celebrate. However, regardless of all of this, this person does experience disappointment at the bottom of everything. So, um, yeah, the fact that I would say that the fact that this person is having all of those things that I just told you about the things that this person should be appreciative of and they are trying to be appreciative of but this person is not able to be deep down it's just because of the fact that at the bottom of it there's this feeling this immense feeling of disappointment of loss of rejection of heartache of some kind and this feels like This feels like something this person has to go through alone. There's nobody that this person can share this with. There is, and that's where it gets the worst. You know, um, whenever you have any sort of situation or an issue in your life, at least you have somebody that you can talk this, uh, talk this out with. Um, but for this person specifically, I feel like they don't. Even if they do, they prefer to not maybe because of some specific reason um, maybe they feel that they're going to be judged but I do feel that this person they kind of keep it in their heart or at the bottom of everything they kind of put on this facade that everything is kind of fine and everything is working out and um, they're really enjoying but that's that just lit, that's messing everything up everything else yeah so i do feel that um this person does feel like empty i almost want to say empty because of all of these um negative feelings their happiness feels quite empty yes if you are experiencing some sort of a heartache or loss or um yeah, any sort of unpleasant feeling when it comes to an individual, because this is what this video is all about. I feel like um, you are going to have some 
sort of an epiphany or a realization in regards to this individual or in regards to the situation um which you have not given yourself it's almost like giving yourself grace but you will get this um realization or you will have a moment a moment of truth um quite soon i feel and there are five signs in this group i feel um aries leo sagittarius could be you could be a person as well um there is a fire sign over here this seems to be like a um a masculine energy and i never really say it's a feminine or masculine i never really do that um but they're kind of asking me to do it right now in this reading there is a masculine fire sign uh fire energy who has their attention on to you and if it's not a fire sign it's going to be either scorpio or a fire sign um so that's um something and then i also do have that you're going to get some sort of epiphanies during your dream like when the time you'd be dreaming at night or i feel like it's going to come through dreams for a lot of you uh, for the majority in this pile especially um somebody could also have their sun sign in leo or in an air sign i feel like i've said that again i've said that before and um yeah so that's all that i'm sensing for you guys and uh, if you do call to probably meditate or um just have some time of solitude or do something which requires you to be alone i would encourage you to do that even if it is not meditation specifically whatever that may be um if you called to do something do the, do that i feel like you might have some sort of a um like you might have a moment of truth at that point because i feel like if it's not a dream it's going to come at a time when you would be alone with your thoughts and there's going to be some sort of serenity around you so that's all that i'm sensing for you guys and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also um do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time